So for today, we are looking at the calculation and recording of rainfall. And when we were looking at the elements of weather, we said that rainfall is the amount of water, or this is the this is water that we receive on the earth's surface in form of moisture. To begin with, so we normally record rainfall that, and it is collected in a rain gauge which is supposed to be taken at the end of 24 hours each day. So for recording, we record, we, we record, we record rainfall at the end of 24 hours so that we can be able to get the maximum amount of water that entered into the rain gauge. And mostly this is done at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. is early in the morning, just after sunrise. To continue with that, we normally see that rainfall is recorded each day of the month, after which we get the average amount of rainfall of that month. That is calculated by finding the mean. So if you want to get the average rainfall for a whole month, you will record the rainfall that you, you are able to collect each and every day of that month. So the amount of rainfall that you record each and every day, you are going to divide it by the number of days of that month. So that is how you will get the average amount of rainfall in, a, in the month. Just to repeat, you arrive at the average amount of rainfall by recording the amount of rainfall you receive each day. That is from Monday to Friday for the next four weeks, because four weeks make up a month. Then you divide it by the number of days. So in a month, you have 30 days. You divide it by the total number of rainfall that you recorded a whole month. So places with the same mean annual rainfall are shown on a map using ISO heads. So ISO heads are, are always shown on the map with the places of the same mean annual rainfall. And the, mon the mean monthly rainfall can also be represented on a histogram. So you can as well represent rainfall on a histogram.